All right, hello ladies and gentlemen, it is VMP here, welcome back. Today, <laughs> after 10 plus years of waiting, Bannerlord has finally released, and man does it feel good. I only, I only got about two hours of sleep last night, woke up at 5.30 in the morning, and <laughs> immediately downloaded this, and then it proceeded to stream for 10 hours straight, because you guys were insane. I think my, my previous record was 170 viewers at one time, we hit 840, and for almost the entire stream we were well over 500 viewers. We even got bot rated. It was insane. Anyways, I feel like I finally have a decent understanding of the game now. Uh, combat is similar, but definitely different to Warband, so it took a little getting used to, but I think we got there towards the end, and I feel ready now to finally start our first single player campaign. You know, besides the, besides Stenolf the Mountain, who, that's the guy we were playing as uh, during the live stream. And let me tell you, I got really attached to Stenolf. I didn't think Stenolf was going to be uh, a big deal. Stenolf's a big deal. Okay, so, here is the new character creation scene. So first of all, you choose your character's culture. You've got six different options. Each one actually gives you a different perk. Now, in my opinion, I think Vlandian is probably the best one. 20% Faster upgrade XP to troops. Not bad. Sturgeons. 20% less speed penalty in, in snow. You know. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna be in the snow 24-7, I guess that could be useful, but still doesn't seem all that great to me. Empires, uh, probably like the second best one here. 20% construction speed bonus to your to your town projects, to repairing walls, and to your siege engines. So that's gonna help you a lot. One with just, you know, upgrading your empire and then for actually doing sieges. Because this isn't just like Warband, where all you got to do is build a ladder, or if you're really unlucky, build a siege tower and then roll up and take a place. Sieges are actually kind of in depth. Um, I've, we've been in a couple of them. We haven't been able to manage any of them yet, because we've just been lowly mercenaries in the army. But it looks <laughs> it looks kind of complex. Azerai. Caravans are 30% cheaper to build, 10% less trade penalty. Um... I have not gotten to experiment with caravans yet. We got to experiment a lot in those 10 hours, um, including workshops, which are fucking useless. <laughs> workshops need a major buff. Um, they're really bad. Caravans are even more expensive than workshops. So at some point, we'll try one of those out. Um, good God, I hope they make more money than the workshops, though. Kuzates. 10% extra speed bonus for horsemen on the campaign map. Decent. You know, decent. And then Batanians. Forests give 10% less speed penalties to parties. So, as I have told many of you guys before, for the first season of Bannerlord, we are going to be playing as Ron Baringsworth, and Ron Baringsworth was going to be a Batanian. So, that is the reason I'm choosing this, not because of their perk, because their perk is not good at all. But anyways... Batanians still remember the olden days, when the woods stretched across the northern Calradia, and the Empire and its cities had yet to violate their sanctity. The fierce warriors remain loyal to their traditional ways, they paint their faces when going to battle, and even their noblemen prefer to fight on foot, while using great axes and two-handed swords with deadly efficiency. Alright. So, Ron Baringsworth. This is going to take me a little while to make. Uh, I do like how there's a height option for Stenolf. We made him a giant, and it, he is no joke an actual giant, like, for real. Ron is definitely a taller man, but he's not a giant. He's not here. He's probably, like, here. Ron's, like, a solid six foot three. Stenoff was six foot nine, like, 290. Ron's probably, like, right about there. Uh, however, Ron will... Ron will have a deep voice. Ah, there we go. Much better, much better, much better. Okay. This is going to take me a little while to, to, to design and get the face right, so I, I will be back once I've done that. Okay, I think we have our man. Look at that luscious golden hair and that smoking bot. <laughs> Alright, all, all jokes aside, I'm kind of happy with how we turned out. Um, there wasn't... I think this hairstyle fits him the best as possible. Some of the other beards, originally I was thinking we're ju we were just going to go with the longest one possible for him. But it's too too wild, too unkempt. I like... This one, still a very, very healthy beard, um, but more more well-managed. Looks a little better. Some of these other ones, 
<laughs> I mean, they're funny to look at, but no, no, no. That's not Ron Baringsworth. He's got the full beard. I mean, we could go for something. No. Yeah, see, none of these really really make all that much sense. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> now, those are fucking beards. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll stick with this one. All right. So, choose your family. You were born into a family of uh, members of the Chieftain's Hearthguard. Uh, yeah, we'll say that. So, for those of you who don't know, Ron Baringsworth is a character that we've used in two other series. He was a Rohirrim in the Last Days mod. So, in Middle Earth, he uh, served the side, the side of good and was a pivotal role in taking out Sauron once and for all. He then went over to Perizno and proceeded to stop the Zan dynasty, almost single-handedly. Uh, Ron is, for all intents and purposes, a man's man. He is what happens if you were to mix Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec with Chuck Norris. He does things that just other men can't do. Um... We, may, we like to make jokes about Ron every now and again, such as, uh, you know, when the coronavirus was infected with Ron, it had to be quarantined for 14 days. Stuff like that. Jokes like that. So, if you want to provide some of your own in the comments, feel more than welcome to. Uh, when he was done in Perizno, when he, feated, when he defeated the Zan, he was like, hmm, no enemies left, time to find a new land. And he literally just jumped into the ocean and started walking across the ocean floor until he found a new continent. And that's how he ended up here in Calradia. This is the kind of man that we are talking about. Alright, so anyways. Uh, so, when you choose this one, your family uh, were the trusted kinsfolk of a Batanian chieftain and sat at his table in his great hall. Your father assisted the chief in running the affairs of the clan and trained with the traditional weapons of the Batanian elite, the two-handed sword... Uh, or the fox? Not sure what that is. And the bow. Cool. Alright, we'll take that. So, alright, they're giving us some skill levels and more focus points and giving us some vigor. Alright, so here's the, here's basically the new, uh, hmm, leveling system, so to speak. So there's not strength, agility, charisma, and intelligence anymore. There's these stats. So you have vigor. This is, this is basically strength. Represents the ability to move with speed and force. It's important for melee combat. Uh, control is basically any ranged combat. Endurance is kind of athleticism. But also your riding ability falls under that. And blacksmithing. Something I haven't gotten a chance to really experiment around with yet. Cunning. I mean, pretty self-explanatory. Tactics. Roguery. It was a pretty fun one. We're not going to be exploring roguery too much with Ron Baringsworth. I have a second series that we're going to be starting soon with Rolf. And Rolf is going to be a fucking bandit. And so he's going to be experimenting a lot with roguery. Ron Baringsworth is too honorable to, to be a rogue. Uh, and then scouting. Social. That's how you're going to get stuff like trade, leadership, and charm. So basically charm is persuasion. Intelligence. That's how you get steward. So steward helps you run a town. Medicine, pretty self-explanatory, heal up your troops. And engineering, that's going to be, I'm assuming, for building stuff in your town, and then also for sieges. And so, essentially, as you level up these attributes, that will allow you to then level up the uh, skills inside those attributes quicker. It'll be easier once I can actually show you um, our character screen. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, he had long hair from the beginning. Uh, as a child, we are definitely noted for our brawn. You were big, and other children looked to have you around in any scrap with children from a neighboring village. You pushed a plow and throw <laughs> and throw an axe like an adult. You're goddamn right he does. You're goddamn right. Alright, like all the village children, you also helped out in the fields. You also... Um... I'm going to say worked in the village smithy just because that's going to give us even more vigor. Our two-handed weapons in this, boys, are insanely good. Two-handed weapons are very good in this. Unlike Warband, they are actually viable as fuck. And you'll see why. You will see why. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go with this one. As a youngster growing up in Calradia. Wow, he's looking like a tank already. Absolute unit. Uh, war was never too far away. You... I'll say trained with no road with the scouts. We wanna we wanna have some horse riding, and that'll also give us some skill in bow, which I definitely want to use because bows also seem very overpowered in this. All of Calradia's kingdom recognized the value of good light cavalry, 
and are sure to recruit nomads and borderers with the skills to fulfill those duties. You were a good enough rider that your neighbors pitched in to buy you a small pony and a sheaf of javelins so that you could fulfill their levy obligations. All right. This is... I'm kind of digging the the skill load out here. So, obviously, intelligence and the charisma skills, not not Ron Baringsworth's strongest, you know, selling point. Okay, he's he's known for his strength and his, his battle ability. Um... But that's fine, because we can get companions to do all pretty much all of this for us, I believe. This stuff, that's all us, baby. Alright, choose your young adulthood. Before you set out for a life of adventure, your biggest achievement was... I'm gonna say defeated an enemy in battle. Sauron! We fucking took out Sauron, and God knows how many trolls over in Middle-earth. I think that is the move. And then that's just gonna buff us up. Wow, we almost have... Maxed out focus points and two-handed to begin the series. That's wild. What are some of the other ones you get here? Get some renown, athletics and stuff. Mercy, generosity. I mean... Is that or you hunted a dangerous animal? One of these two, I think, would be the move. So we get uh, two focus points and an attribute point. This one we get... A Two focus points and an attribute point. So it's about the same either way. Um, do we want to have more vigor? Honestly, maybe we'll say he was a troll hunter and we'll say you hunted a dangerous animal. Let's do that because that'll give us one more in bow. Cool. All right. Like many families in Calradia, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of army after army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, and brother and your two younger siblings to a new town you heard was safe. But you did not make it. Along the way, the inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders. Your parents were slain and your two youngest siblings were seized. But you and your brother survived because... You subdued a raider? Or you drove them off with arrows? Hmm... One focus point on bow and tactics. Is tactics going to be all that important for us? Actually, it possibly could. I don't know if... I think we actually do need kind of decent tactics at some point. That might be the move. I also would like some one-handed to begin with. Mm, we might do this one. I think we're going to do this one. You subdued a raider. Okay, here we go. You prepare to set off with your brother on a mission of vengeance and rescue. Here is your character. Alright, so let's go over here. Ron Baringsworth. It feels so good. So good to bring him into this. Is that... Hello? Is that good? Is that too long? Why can't I click next? <laughs> Hold up. Oh, we're not allowed to have a last name. Alright, I see Oh, wait, we'll get our last name. We'll get our last name. Don't worry about it. So, Ron. All right. Uh, game difficulty. So, for this first series... So, listen. Ron is too good to die. All right? In terms of... I'm not enabling permadeath for Ron. We will be enabling permadeath for Baron Rolf, which will be our next character that I, I plan on starting pretty soon here. Um, just because that's going to be hilarious. Because the whole the whole idea behind Rolf and, and Warband was that it's a long line of Rolfs. It was Rolf, son of Rolf, grandson of Rolf, great grandson of Rolf. So we can just keep on making new Rolfs and new characters as the as the old ones die. Uh, Ron, I'd prefer not to have permadeath on. Um, we will play on. Let's play on medium difficulty. So there's three difficulty settings for each one of these. Uh, so we'll go. Yeah, we'll go the medium one. Recruitment difficulty. Ah. Eh. We'll just do realistic for that. We'll do realistic for that one. And we're going to go on the middle setting for each one of these. So, it should help us out a little bit. At least to get started. You know, maybe as the series goes on, if it gets a little too easy, we'll crank it up to maximum difficulty. Because that's what that, that is what we were on uh, at the end of Warband. Okay. Brother, it's been three days now we've been tracking those bastards. I think we're getting close. We need to think about what happens when we catch them. How are we going to rescue Farrakh and Athen? Are we up for the fight? This looks like an old training field for the legions. Perhaps we can spare some time and brush off our skills. The practice could come up useful when we catch up with the raiders. No time to lose. We can do more if we split up. Uh... Alright, you sure about that? This option will finish the tutorial, which has story elements. 
Wait, wait, no, 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 no. I do kind of want to do the tutorial real quick. I don't really need the other one, though. All right, blah, blah, blah. All right, leave training field. Okay. I think we should be good. All right, before we do anything, uh, we're low on food. There's a village north of here where we can buy provisions and find some help. You're a better rider than I am, so I'll let you lead the way. All right. Uh, yep, yep, tutorial. Okay, we got it. So, boys. I love the music. Let's take a look at the map. This is Calradia. It's gigantic. <laughs> it is gigantic. You'll see some familiar names. Sargoth, Praven. Well, it's called Jackalar, but, you know, Jalcala. Galen instead of Yalen. Uh, Varcheg instead of Wercheg. And, but a lot of these ones, these are completely new. So, we've got the Empire factions. We've got Vlandia. This is Batania. This is, these are the guys we're going to be joining eventually. All right. Sturgia to the north, the Viking fellows. We've got the Kuzate Khanate over here. And then we've got the Azerai down here. So, we're doing the... Yeah, so it looks like the tutorial, you start in the same place each time. That's interesting. I thought as picking a Batanian, we might spawn up there, but I guess not. All right, we'll take a quick little walk around. So, I played through, I think, most of this tutorial while we were streaming together. Um, so, I should kind of know what's going on. We're here. Uh, we need food, and after that, maybe some men to come with us. The headman could probably help us. Let's try to find him. All right. Sp speak to the headman. So, here's something you can do in castles and uh, villages that's really nice. You hold down left alt, and it'll show you all the people of relevance in the village. <laughs> this village only has one, which means the rest of these villagers... Irrelevant. <laughs> Channel our inner rice gum. Irrelevant. All right. Obrin, headman of the village. What brings you here? All right, we need help. Our, some sea raiders took our younger brother and sister. We think they might have passed this way. They got your people too? I'm sorry to hear that. These bastards have done a lot of killing and looting in these parts. Uh, we think they've gone north. I reckon there are a few folk around here who will join you in going after them if you pay for their gear. Once you've made your preparations, come and talk to me again. I may have a task for you if you're going after the raiders. Okay. So what does he want us to do again? Purchase troops. All right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And purchase grain. So if we head out to the rest of the village, buy products. We need two grain. Yeah, I'll get two grain there. And then troops. Nice. We can get a whole bunch of them. All right. Kind of expensive, but that's fine. We'll get we'll get money back. I'm not worried about money, boys. I'll show you. I we found a few good money makers during the live stream. All right, we have finished our preparations. Let's talk to the headman again. He said he may have a task for us. We could use his friendship. All right. And so, cool thing is, you can talk to all the people of relevance. You don't have to find them. You can just talk to them by clicking the, on them up there. And that works for towns, villages, castles, everything. All right. Glad to see you found what you needed. Now about that matter I mentioned earlier. There's this wandering doctor who comes through here from time to time. Name of Tactios. Treats people for free. We're fond of him. Well, we last saw him a few days ago. He was carrying some sort of chest, which he was very mysterious about. He was on some sort of quest, he said, though wouldn't tell us more. He set off on the road just a few hours before the raiders came through here. Well, he's not really a worldly type. Just the kind of fellow who'd stumble into a trap and let himself be captured. We're worried about him. If you can keep an eye out for him, this Tactios, we'd be very grateful. Maybe if he's alive and well, he'll tell you a little more about his quest. Gotcha. All right. Man, this looks... Does this not look gorgeous? And the cool thing is, each village is unique, boys. None of them look alike. It's so cool. Everything just looks so nice. And the good news is... So, I did a little testing. So, on the live stream, I wasn't able to play on the highest difficulty... Or, highest graphical settings. Which is, was a little annoying. It was a little frustrating. It was lagging a little bit. When I'm offline, it looks like I'm able to play... I'm playing on high, high settings right now. And the recording looked fine. So, I think we should be good. Okay. Uh, character. Oh, we got some leveling up to do. Oh, that's right. Okay, so here is the new leveling up uh, screen. So, how you level up, you don't get XP that directly goes into your level. You level up by getting skill points. Almost kind of like uh, Skyrim, in a way. What you do get XP for is for individual skills to level up your proficiencies. So, if we were to take 
two-handed from 35 to 40, that would not, I mean, obviously get our two-handed better, but then that would give us enough skill points to level up our overall character level. And then that would give us another focus point. Focus points are, you are seen by these bars right here. You can put up to five into each skill. And what they do is they increase your learning limit and increase your learning rate. So your learning limit is kind of a soft cap for as high as your proficiency can go. So for two-handed here, because we have a lot of vigor and we have a lot of focus points in here, we can get up to 140 proficiency, which is pretty high. Theoretically, we could go past that. It's just your learning rate starts to drop a lot, so it gets a lot slower and a lot more of a grind to go past that. Now, for something like, uh, let's say, medicine, <laughs> which is not our strong suit, we only have an intelligence of two, our learning limit is 10 right now because we have no focus points in it and no... <laughs> we only have one extra point of intelligence. So yeah, not all that great. Eventually, it's it's worthwhile to get as many of these points as you can because each of these skills have a bunch of different traits, a lot of which don't only uh, help out that skill in particular, can help you just overall. So anyways, two-handed here. We get our first uh, ones to pick from. We can choose from either hit points or extra two-handed damage. I'm going to say hit points. 3% extra hit points. That's no joke. And then bow, accuracy with bow increased by 10%. Cool. So no pick on that one. We just get it automatically. And then we have one free focus point to hand out. I think we might go for riding. Riding's a little low. That or one-handed. One-handed is also pretty low. Mm, both of these are kind of important. Let's... Ooh. Ooh. Let's stick with one-handed. Let's bump that up a bit. So, as you can see, hold on, let me see if I can uh, redo that for you guys. So, the learning rate right now is 8, 8x, which is pretty good. We'll give a focus point. Not only does our learning limit go up, but our learning rate also goes up. So, now we're going to get XP quicker for this. It's pretty cool. I Obviously, I haven't gotten too far into it. I think we made it up to level 9 or so in the 10 hours that we were playing. Um... So it'll be interesting to see what it's like end game, but it's really unique. And I like how you get better at skills by actually, you know, using those skills. Okay, so we have these raider parties that we need to fight. Uh, we should be, I mean, we should be okay. We do get, oh man, everyone's on horseback? Oh, damn, that's actually fucking dope. Okay, I want to train up our archery. So here's the thing. I did a ton of tournaments during the live stream. And I will say, it probably got a little repetitive for you guys watching. I will still be doing a bunch of tournaments in this series, but I'm not going to show them all. Just so it, it doesn't get completely repetitive. Oh, oh man, the archery seems OP. Look at that. Uh, what I will say is, I don't think you get skill points. Alright, fucker got me there. Alright, charge him, lads. I wanted to see if I could just get them to follow us so we could increase our archery a lot. Ooh. I will also warn you guys, Warband veterans, combat is a lot different. It's not as easy as you think anymore. Horses are not, you know, easily maneuverable. It's hard to explain. You guys will probably just have to see for yourselves. But it's going to take a lot more skill. Oh, big shot. And we leveled up. We got two skill points and one handed for that single hit. Awesome. Alright, good stuff, lads. 129 cut damage. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do the trick. Alright. Nice little victory screen there. So we get a little renown. We get some gold. Awesome. Uh, we can take prisoners. I right, might as well. We'll take them. We'll take them. Not really worth all that much, but we will take them. Ooh! Hello! Those are some great bracers! 30 arm armor?! I know you guys don't have much reference, but this is really fucking good. Holy shit. Th those are like end game bracers right there that we just picked up for free. Okay. Alright. Uh, and then this is better than what we're currently wearing. Ooh. Is that not a fashion statement, Ron, or what? <laughs> Alright, buddy. I like it. I like it. Uh, can we wear this for this as well? That'll be our, that's our civilian outfit that you're looking at right there. Alright, nice. Easy, easy. Alright, on to the next one, on to the next one. She's just gotta take out these three groups. It really isn't all that bad. Ooh. Hmm. Ah, 
uh, we, we should be fine to take on multiple of them at a time. Let's also level up. Uh, all right, so let's put that other point into riding right now. Oh, fuck, I forgot to do this. Uh, and I reset them before. Extra HP. All right, cool, cool. Nice. All righty. Let's try to do the same thing. I'm going to tell our boys to stay back a little bit. Uh, I love how it shows exactly the positions they're going to... Whoops, nope, wrong one. What did I say? There we go. Go over there, lads. Ooh, fuck. Fuck, they actually have rocks. That's painful. Right, there we go. We're going to level up our archery one way or another. And these guys just happen to be a great way to train it up. <laughs> we need to get some better armor so they can't do this. So, here's what I will say. If you are going to plan on being a mounted... A mounted warrior... What's really, really important is having reach. Like, so much more important than Warband. I can't even describe it. If you do not have a weapon with long reach in this, you will not be able to hit people on horseback. It's... Even with a weapon with reach, it is pretty fucking hard. Nice. Ron just leveled up again. We're fucking cruising through him. I get a headshot. Archery is also a little different, but it's not too bad. I do kind of like the hit markers, though. I will say that much. So, is this guy even paying attention to me? We want to get a longer axe, ideally. But I guess this one's okay for right now. Alright, slow down. This guy can't make up his mind. <laughs> what? How do you tank that? There you go. Alright, more skill points. More riding. So, you increase your riding skill. One, by just walking across the campaign map. Oh, get him out of here. One, by going across the campaign map uh, on a horse. And then two, by attacking enemies in, like, actual battles while you're on horseback. Conversely, you get athletic skills by doing those same things without a horse. So you're just running around a, a campaign map without a horse. That increases your athletics and makes you quicker. And makes you jump higher, maybe? I right, forget him. All right, we can tell our boys to charge in now. Got him. Good stuff. Did they... Seriously, there's... What, seven of you and you couldn't kill this guy? Got him. There you go. That's how you do it. Alright. I'd say good fight, lads, but... You really didn't do all that much. That was all us. Let's be honest here. <laughs> Let's be honest here, lads. Alright, some renown, some morale. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, we'll take the raiders. Cool, cool. Ooh. How good is this? This only has a length of 65. I that It's miraculous that we we're hitting anybody with this thing. Uh, this one has a lot longer length, so we're going to take that. Rugged Gambison is better than what we're currently wearing. Oh my... What the fuck did I just witness? Is, is YouTube going to de demonetize me for that? That wasn't my fault. That wasn't my fault, YouTube. <laughs> that wasn't on me. All right, you rescue several prisoners that the raiders have been dragging along. They look parched and exhausted. You give them a bit of water and bread, and after a short while, one of them staggers to his feet and comes over to you. All right, let's see. Oh, it's Tactios. Okay, right. I don't know who you are, but I'm in your debt. Those brigands would have marched us to our deaths. My name's Tactios. I'm a doctor by trade. I was on, well, a bit of a quest, but now I'm thinking I'm not really made for this sort of thing. I was with a caravan, and they just came out of the brush. We were surrounded and outnumbered, so we gave up. I figured they'd keep us alive, if just for the ransom. But then they started flogging us along at top speed and without any water, and I was just about ready to drop. I could feel the signs of my heart stroke creeping up, and I told them, but they just flogged me more. If your group hadn't come along, well, maybe I have a way to thank you properly. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, just tell me where my, uh, my siblings are. I'm afraid I haven't seen any children. Uh, after our caravan was attacked, the chief of the raiders, the one they called Radagos, took off and rode off... Uh, with our more valuable belongings, including the chest I had. He seemed to be controlling more than one band raiding around this area. If this lot has your kin, then I think he'd be the one to know. And since I have nothing of value left to repay your help, I'll tell you this. If you do catch up with and defeat that ruffian, you may be able to recover my chest. It contains a valuable ornament, which I was told could be of great value if you knew where to sell it. I was trying to find out more about it, but, as I say... I've had all my urge for traveling flogged out of me. Right now, I don't think I could venture more than 20 paces from a well as long as I live. All right, I'll keep that in mind. 
Doesn't look like much, but I suspect this lot would give it away for a few coins. But I got it from a mercenary whom I treated once and swore it was related to Noretzi's folly. Alright, Noretzi's was of course the emperor who died in battle some years ago. Maybe you can find out its true value. Thanks for saving me again. I hope our paths will cross again. Alright. So, now we need to go into their lair, into their hideout. Uh, but we would like to heal up first. So we don't completely embarrass ourselves there. And I would like to get ourselves a uh, a shield, if that is at all possible. Interactions are limited during this tutorial phase. Damn it, I can't get a shield. Come on, man, really? All right, fine, be that way. Uh, okay, we leveled up again. Let's go, okay, riding. We can make our horse vigorous. Plus 6% horse's hit points is actually uh, pretty damn useful. <laughs> That's actually pretty nice. Uh, let's go one more into one-handed, I think. Yeah. Ooh, archery could also be good. Um, or riding. Honestly, either, either one of these. We're going to go another one into one-handed for right now. One-handed is extre extremely important for uh, for tournaments. So, I want to get that up as soon as possible. Alright. We'll run back here to Radagos' hideout. I guess we'll clear it out. I kind of wanted to... Can I just wait for a bit until we heal up? Yeah, let's just wait for a bit. At least till we're up to... I mean, I mean, shit, we're not we're not busy. We'll wait till we're at like almost 100% HP, and then we'll go in. There's no uh, no time constraint on this, really. So, once we take out Radagos' hideout, uh, the tutorial is essentially over, I think, at that point, and it kind of opens up for us. And so, like I said, I did a lot of tournaments in the in the live stream that we did. I want to keep a lot of that grinding off camera for you guys, and I want to really start exploring more of the various quests and new gameplay additions that they have here in Bannerlord, uh, and really show you guys that, instead of just straight up grinding. I, I feel like that's more entertaining for you guys. All right, here we go, boys. Follow me. So, I really do like how they changed up uh, rating hideouts on this. It does feel like more like an ambush. Fuck, okay, we, we might have missed. Did he even notice? He didn't even notice. Okay, now he notices. <laughs> now he notices. Alright, alright, alright. Got him? Nice. Alright, keep it going, keep it going. I don't know if we get any... Any skill XP for this. Can I get my arrows back? The one that I missed? Is that a thing? I don't know where it fucking landed. Alright, never mind. On to the next group, on to the next group. Uh, can't, can't tell if there's anyone in there. Sometimes they're just walking about. <sighs> I love the map, though. The map looks dope. Okay. Uh, here we go. We got a couple of the boys over here. They see us? Oh, fuck. They see us. They see us. They're coming in. They're coming in. Nice. Okay, we do get proficiency for this. Got him. Ouch! Don't no aim for me. Nice. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. Here we go, boys. I don't, I don't think these guys actually level up at all, and we don't get to keep them regardless. So that's why I'm stealing all the XP right now. We're taking it for ourselves. All right, we got that guy walking around over there. Do we have anyone else? I think it's just him in this area. All right. Finish them off. Good stuff. I don't think we have too much more. I think we're getting close to the end here. I think it's basically just these guys over there and maybe one more encampment after that. Wait, is there anybody over there? Maybe not. No, I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Oh, here we go. There's a dude over there. Supposedly, wait, I think you can sprint somehow? I've seen some guys move super fucking fast before. Actually, no. Maybe you can't sprint. Maybe we just have low athletics, and that's why we're not moving that fast. Okay, we got a couple guys coming in here. A couple bogeys. Hello? Can you guys not get in my way? All right, never mind. Charge in, boys. Boom! One tap him. Dude, Ron is already, like... I was expecting to have to do some grinding to get Ron's strength up enough. Ron's just one-tapping everybody to begin with. <laughs> this is this is his starter stats. Oh, baby. Okay. All right. This guy seems kind of good. I'll be honest. He seems a little good. 
Uh, all right, Radagos. So who's this coming through my place of business, killing my employees? All right. Well, you heard you took our little brother and sister. Where are they? Good heaven! I'll need a better description than that. My men have harvested the dozens of little brats in this region. Quite good hunting grounds. Already sent most of them to the south to a slave market. Okay, so as I said on the live stream, that response right there reminds me of the meme. And then, uh, of the meme, it's like a, a green skeleton dude. And they're like, you killed my family. And he's like, do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? That's what this reminds me of. Um, and sure enough, I looked on the subreddit, someone had already made that meme. <laughs> like, right away. Alright, since your hunt for kin is fruitless, how about you clear off and, and save your own lives? Either that, or I force you to lick up all the blood you've spilled here with your tongues. Or, you and I can settle this one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if I like our odds against this guy, but we're gonna try. Fuck it, I'll do you. Okay, let's let's run that back. <laughs> I don't I don't want to know what happens if we lose that duel. When we uh, when I originally played in the first live stream, I didn't take the duel option, and clearly that was the right move. We just fight them as an army. Oh see, oh my god, he immediately gets put down by boys. Good stuff. All right, stop throwing rocks, you bitches! Get him out of here. I'll also blame that on the fact that, uh, <laughs> I was not warmed up enough. <laughs> I just started recording. Maybe, you know, maybe once we're warmed up, we've, we've won a few tournaments. I'll be able to take that fight. I was not prepared for him. All right, good stuff. Damn right, victory's ours. Did we lose anybody? Doesn't look like it. All right, good stuff. Very good stuff. Well, I recognize defeat when I see it. If I'm going to be your captive, let me introduce myself. I'm Radagos. You haven't cut my throat yet, which was, a mo was, which was a wise move. I'm sure I can find a way to be worth more to you alive than dead. Alright, well, yeah, get us our brother and sisters back. Uh, you'll need my help, alright, if you want to get them. Alive, that is. My boys have some pretty specific instructions about what to do if there is a rescue attempt. Shall we get on the road? Remember, if I drop dead of exhaustion or drown in some river, that's it for your little dears. I don't expect a cozy planquin. But you'd best not make it too hard a trip for me. Alright, so as I found out in the live stream, Planquins are apparently those big old, like, uh, like thrones with that people carry around. You know what I mean? Like when a king has, like, four people carry him. Apparently that's called a Planquin. I had no idea. Learn something new every day. <laughs> Alright, capture those raiders. Thank you very much. You come across a chest with an old piece of bronze in it. It's so battered and corroded uh, that it could have been anything from a cup to a crown. This must be that chest Tactios mentioned to you that has something to do with Naretsi's folly. Alright. Alright, here's our brother again. Wow, what a stylish little mustache. He neglected to go for the for the giant beard, but you know he's looking pretty good. I was hoping to find more treasures here, but I think business wasn't going too well for Radagos and his gang. I found this strange looking metal piece though. It doesn't look too valuable, but it could be the artifact Tactios was talking about. Maybe we can sell it to one of the noble clans for a hefty price. Alright, let's get on the road then. I have a better idea. We would have a better chance if we split up now. I'll take Radagos and go find the slaver market and look for a way to free the children. However, we must be careful not to endanger their lives, and it could be better to just buy them. We need to have our purses full of or we need to have our purses full for that though. I need to take these men with us. Radagos is a slippery one. I don't want him getting away. Alright, so you want me to raise the money to ransom the little ones? Indeed, you'll have to find a way to do that. Maybe this bronze thing can help. Tactio said it could be worth a fortune to the right person if you manage not to get killed. If he's telling the truth, you must be careful. Never reveal that you have it, but try to understand its value and how it could be sold. One more thing. When you're talking to nobles and other people of importance, make sure you present yourself as someone from a distant but distinguished family. <laughs> Select your family name. Quite simple. Baringsworth. There we go. You can use our family name if you like or make up a new one. Oh, we'll be using our family name. We'll be using our family name. And now we get to create our banner. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, we want... Let's see. What defines Ron? Hmm. All right. Give me a sec here. I think I like this right here, boys. The green and gold with a big old bear. I think we want to make... Can we make the bear bigger? 
Yes, we can. As big a bear as possible. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Get on the road now. Once I locate the little ones, I'll come find you. Perfect. And now, I believe the tutorial is over. Yes, we are free to explore Cal Radio. Oh, God, the nostalgic, the nostalgic completing a quest sound. The little flute. So good. All right, so we've got a couple quests now. Rebuild your clan. So, essentially, what we need to do, we need to raise the money. We need 2,000 dinars. We need to grow your party size to 20 men, all right? Uh, he took all the guys with us, or with him, so we're back to just us. Reach Clan Tier 1, which is 50 Renown, and then hire a companion. So, this one's actually not too bad. We'll get this relatively soon. Investigate Noretzi's Folly. Alright, so that's the artifact. Basically, there are 10 specific nobles across Calradia that you need to talk to. This one's really annoying. I never finished this one in the 10 hours that we were playing before. Um... It, maybe I'll just have to do a lot of grinding off-screen to find all those lords and get it done. Uh, but, I don't know. It's, it's difficult, to say the least. So, how do we start out here? We need a little bit of cash. I think the move may be to find a group of looters, take them on, get a little bit of starting cash, and then maybe go for a tournament. So, let's see if we can't find a little something to fight here. Oh, there's a lot of guys around here. Oh, here we go. Looters. Perfectly. Five looters? Should be able to take them on. Uh... I'm curious here. Where can we actually see? Clan. There we go. Alright, so, here's our clan. So, basically, this is... Bandlord, unlike Warband, is a lot more about building a dynasty, almost. So, our clan tier right now is zero, because we only have 36 renown. We're not even officially a clan, I don't think. We're going to get to 50 renown real quick, which is what you need for tier one. And as you tier up, it allows you to get more companions, I believe more family members. Uh, it allows more of your family members to become lords... And, uh, just stuff like that. We will be, I guess, the surgeon for a little bit. Or the scout, maybe? Uh, let's be the, let's be the surgeon for a little bit. Help us heal up a little bit faster. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, I don't know yet if fighting... If fighting these guys by ourselves gives us more renown, renown than fighting them with an army. That I'm not sure yet. Because in Warband, it was actually smart to start a playthrough just as yourself and solo fighting groups of bandits to get a bunch of renown. As well as, you know, XP and loot. Also, our archery is going up so fast. I think that's why Ron is power leveling right now. To be honest. Got him. Keep it moving. How's that not a headshot? Whew. Boy, this guy is tanking right now. Got him. Alright. Yeah, so I might farm up a few groups of looters. I don't know how much how much <laughs> how much loot we get from the looters, but the XP is decent. Okay, good good throwing throwing rock there. Okay, buddy. Cut that out. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we might do this just to continue to level up a little bit. Get some renown. And get some loot. I think that might be the move. Alright. One renown, one morale. Okay. Also, you don't get nearly as much... Renown is... So... <laughs> renown is not the same as it was in Warband. Getting one renown is actually a decent amount for a battle. I'd say one renown is probably equivalent to like... Five or ten renown in Warband, if that makes sense. Uh, we will take the prisoner to sell off. Cool, cool. Is there anything good here? This is slightly better. All right, we'll take the leather shoes. Uh, any of this good? Not particularly. Not particularly. Okay, head over to Lycaron and see how's it going over here. Tournaments are big. Tournaments are big to get you jump started, though. And I will show at least a tournament or two until we can get a win. Like I said, that's, I don't want to just show tournaments because I know that can get boring for you guys. Alright. Fuck, there's a tournament going on. Well, we might as well enter it. So here's the thing. You can enter tournaments for, for free. If you want to really make money, you gotta gamble. Ooh, Rigid Highland Helm. If I remember correctly, this goes for a shit ton of money. We really want to win this if we can. So, here's how a tournament works. There are four different rounds. As we can see, they'll tell you the uh, 
I guess kind of the the layout of how the tournament is going to structure or is going to work from the beginning. So these first rounds we have four teams of two, two uh, two different heats. We then go into a four person free for all in the second round, two different ones of those. The third round is going to be a two v two, and then the final round is a one v one. So you stay with uh, how to explain this? I'll tell you what. Let me let me just let's just hop in here. And you know what? I'm feeling a little dicey. Let's gamble. We'll do one bet. One one bet of 300, and we'll see how it goes. So. Okay, we got an archer. Lovely. Good hit, good hit. Ugh. Fuck. Oh, we're getting low. This guy's good. I'm backing off. Not dealing with that guy. So here's the thing in tournaments. It's not really based on kills anymore. Oh no, don't shoot at me. Yeah, shoot that guy. It's not based on kills anymore. It's based on last team standing. And so in this case, the top two teams get to go on. There we go. Alright, we got him. Oh, that was a that was a unique hero. No wonder he was so tough. Alright, we might still be able to clutch this. Also, it's worth pointing out. Nice! Tournament win. It's worth pointing out, you use your own armor in tournaments. So obviously, we're at a major disadvantage compared to some of these guys right now. Alright, we'll let this round go on. Imperial Legionary. Alright, he's probably our biggest challenge right now besides Eutropius. Okay. So once again, we have a four-person free-for-all here, but two people go on. So the last two people who survive get to go on in this one. No, 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 no. Fuck you, Eutropius. Alright, so we're going to run him this way. And hopefully get him to attack these guys instead. It worked. See? And then you just let them fight. I learned a, li I learned a few things after playing 10 hours of tournaments. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Actually, shit. We Ah, damn. We should have gone over and tried to fight Eutropius there. He's just so much better than us. Not only like his stats, but his armor is a lot better than ours right now. There we go. Good hit. Come on. Oh, shit. Could shield bash him to death. Oh, fuck. Nope. Ah, he got us. Alright, that's fine. Doesn't matter. We're one of the last two alive. We get on. We get to go to the next round. Alright. Unfortunately, we're up against him. But, we do have our buddy, the Imperial Legionary, on our side. Unfortunately, that means if we win, we're going to have to face him in a 1v1 in the finals. I don't know if I like our odds with that. Okay. I'll hit Eutropius there. Oh, headshot. Nice. He's low. Oh, man. We're doing work with the bow. He's hurting. Got him. Okay. And I would expect our legionary friend would be able to finish off this guy, but don't worry. I got him. I got him. Don't worry about it, baby. All right. So now we got a 1v1 against this guy, and he looks good. He looks like he's got some... He definitely has better armor than we do. We don't have, like, really any armor right now. So we just got to try to do our best. Go. Okay, good combo. See, the thing is, he can afford to make mistakes. We can't. He does way too much damage to us in this cloth armor. See, some of our hits don't even stun him. So we need to be quick with blocking, even after we land a shot on him. Oh, there we go. That's a big one. Nice. Come on. Come on. Boom. Ooh. Bro, Ron is brutal with these shield bashes. Just put in work in! Let's go, Ron! 52 damage! And that's the tournament win right there. So we just got 600 gold for that. Renown. And a ridged Highland helm. Now, check this helmet out, boys. Check this helmet out. If this is the helmet I think it is. And it is! Just like that. Five thousand dinars that is the best tournament reward i found so far also the best helmet in the game that i know of very nice very nice indeed we're actually going to use that because we don't currently have a helmet <laughs> um, <laughs> but there we go Whoo! that's a big first tournament all right what do these guys have in terms of ranged weapons do we have a better bow that i can use 
Oh, God, some of these are very expensive. 31000 for a step war bow. 22000 for crossbows. Come on, man. You can't do us like that. Uh, tournament, you can buy tournament arrows to knock people out? Oh, yo, is that how we get a bunch of prisoners? That could be a strategy. No? Also, wait, where'd my gloves go? Oh, no, they took my gloves back from the tutorial. Oh, those were the best gloves in the game. Damn, that kind of sucks. All right, but still, that was an awesome first tournament for us, though. All right, all right. Uh... Unfortunately, since we're keeping... I mean, it's it's awesome that we got that helmet. Unfortunately, we're keeping it, so we're not getting any of the money from it. Let's see where the next tournament is. We're going to just head in that direction and hopefully try to find some people and fight them along the way. All right, we're not going to do an arena battle. Uh, don't have any more questions. Tournaments. All right, Amitatis and Poros. Gotcha. So we'll head, that, we'll head in one of those two directions. And we'll look for people along the way. Amitatis is all the way over here. Let's head to Poros. We'll head to Poros. Try to find some fights. All right. Unfortunately, no fights between <laughs> then and now. We will go ahead and try to win this tournament real quick. Uh, turn tournament prize judgment. All right. This one's kind of a shitty reward. I'll be honest, boys. It's it's trash. It's very bad. So we don't really care if we win or lose this one. Um, that being said, let's look at the uh, loadout here. Okay. Ooh, I don't know if I like this. So here's the thing. if It doesn't really matter who we're up against in the first round. It matters who's our teammates. And we have some good teammates, which means, unfortunately, we're going to have to go up against them in these final rounds. I don't like that. The Imperial Cataphract worries me. So for that reason, I don't think we're going to bet on this one. We're just going to hope for the best. Oh, sweet. We got a bow. Whoo, headshot already, and he's down. Oh, man. Oh, and another headshot. We're so good with a bow. Ron is a master with a bow. I mean, Rohirrim. Tradition or traditionally, Rohirrim do use bows. I know we hadn't used a bow in other series with Ron yet, but I'm just saying it's not out of lore. Get him out of here. Cross map? No way. Oh, if we actually hit something like that, I'd be jumping out of my seat. Oop, definitely just hit an ally there, but we don't we don't talk about it. How long is this guy gonna run a run around? Alright, here we go. Good stuff. Alright, on to the next round. That's very good. Very good, Lance. Okay. So basically the same thing here, and this other this other squad is awful. They're gonna get wiped by us. We have we have a powerhouse team, if I'm being honest. Ah oh, fuck, we had a javelin this time. That's not great. Alright, let's fight, buddy. What? How did I not block that? Thought I blocked overhead. No worries. Okay. Oh, we hit the horse. Come on. Javelins are not super great in this, I'll be honest. <laughs> not nearly as good as the bow, at least. Dude, we have an OP team. What the hell? Alright, who am I up against? I'm up against the crossbow. I'm kind of hoping Ariata the Black beats the Cataphract, because the Cataphract is going to be nasty in the final round, in a 1v1. Like, we'll try our best, but man. Brutal, Ron. There we go. Good start. Nice hit. Oh, shit. Okay. Getting sloppy. Whoa! Getting sloppy. Okay, what the hell? I was blocking there. But you can't hit around blocks in this if the block is not in the right direction, even with a shield. That's that's a change from Warband. Fuck, he's hitting us hard, man. Oh, good hit. Back him up. You can't dodge us now. Overhead. Oh, not enough time. Boom, big overhead. 29 damage. Put him to sleep. One more good shot should do it. Oh, he chamber blocked us. Boom! Whew. These are some close fights. These are some very close fights. Alright, who wins this? Ah, oh, fuck. It's us against the Cataphract. Boys, it's not looking good. It does not look good. Look how stacked he is. This is the best unit in the game. Arguably. Ooh, that was a good good shot, though, to start off. Ooh, okay. 
He's got to respect us now. He wasn't respecting us before. He was like, oh, look at this little Celtic warrior in his robes. I got this. I got my plate armor. Yeah. Not so confident. Now are you? Batanian Strunk. Bro, we're... I know, even if we lose this, we put on a... We put on a show. We embarrassed this guy in front of his home crowd. Let's go. Ooh, big hit. We're working him. Working him! Let's go, Ron! Holy! We did that we flawlessed him! We didn't even get touched! Alright, so we get judgment. So that's the thing. As rewards from these tournaments, you can get these kind of unique weapons. Judgment, unfortunately, is a trash one. <laughs> it is an awful one. Uh, yeah, it's not good. So we're, we're just going to sell it. We're just going to sell it off. Um, what we would like, though, is a shield. Would probably be a worthwhile investment. Let's get this light cavalry shield. How big is it? Large shield? Nice. Yeah, let's get this. It's 300, so it's a decent investment. But I think that's definitely worth it long, long term for us. All right, well... Enough for tournaments right now. Let's find some looters to fight. Okay, this is the first group of looters I've found, and I've been looking for a while. There's ten of them, though. This is this is this is a lot. This is a lot for us to try to take on. But if we can pull it off, it'd be it'd be pretty huge. I think we should get a lot of renown for this, and obviously a lot of XP and loot if we manage to take out a 10v1. Now we don't have a ton of arrows. So, we got to try to kind of use them wisely here. I say as we miss the first shot. <laughs> there we go. Headshot. That's more like what we need. We need headshots here. Oh, tree. Hello. Fuck. It's not a good start. All right. We just kind of fire into the group while there's a bunch of them here. We'll weaken them up. And if need be, we'll finish them off with, uh, with our axe. I just want to avoid that while we can. Nice shot. Nice, another headshot. Oh my god, they're they're feeling it now. Archery levels up so fast in this. It's just so easy to get shots on these guys without shields. And we do so much damage, it levels up so quickly. Which is, in turn, leveling us up very quickly. Because it's giving us a ton of skill points. Beautiful. Pinning them down. Ooh, okay. Alright, alright. Ooh, dodged the rocks. Nice. Another one down. All right, we're running out of arrows. We're going to have to go into melee pretty soon here. Let's try to... All right, we have three arrows. Let's try to kill two more of them with these three arrows if we can. All right, down he goes. One more. Nice. All right. We just got two of them left. Still got a decent amount of HP, though. Oh, see. Ugh, it is It is hard to reach people with this short axe. Too. We're like right next to them. That's what I'm telling you. It's not like Warband. You have to be right fucking next to these guys in order to actually hit them. Right, this looter does not know what he's doing. Boom. 94 damage. That's a healthy blow. There we go. Easy cleanup. Easy cleanup. Good job, Ron. Good job. How much renown do we get for that? 1.8 renown? Alright, pretty decent. We're getting close to 50. We're getting close to 50. Alright, alright. Ba ba ba. Take this over. Uh huh. Uh, okay. We do have some arm wraps now. Nice. Uh, is any of this stuff better than what we're currently using? I don't think so, but we'll take it just to sell off regardless. Cool, cool. Alright. What's our what's our stats looking like now? Ooh, one handed. Sweet. Uh oh, edge placement is a very good one. One-handed damage increased by 4%. It's either that or three extra HP. It's a close call. It really is a close call, but I do like... I think edge placement wins here. As long as you are conceivably going to be using one-handed weapons, and we will be using a lot of those, at least in tournaments, if not also in, in sieges, definitely worthwhile to get the edge placement. Hmm. Some of this other stuff, I don't know. We'll have to play it by ear. Hey, but okay. So every three level ups, you get a free attribute point that you can put into one of these. Let's, for this one, honestly, I think our vigor is pretty good right now. I would kind of like to improve 
I think either control or endurance. Hmm. Tell you what, we'll put a point into control, put an attribute point into there, and we'll put our focus point into riding. There we go. I think that's fair. All right, cool. Uh, so let's see. Let's get into one more battle. I don't want this episode to go on too long, and then we'll uh, we'll probably wrap it up there. Okay, so I started another tournament. We're at the final round right now. I've been going all in on every single round, so hopefully we come through and can win this one too. We also get a pretty nice horse as the tournament prize that we can sell off for a decent amount of money. However, we do need to win. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay. Good hit. I can't wait for us to get some good armor, man. Ugh. right now we need to fight these fights almost perfectly not quite perfectly but we need to fight it a lot better than they're fighting in order to actually win oh chamber block nice oh there we go see stuff like that that blow only did two damage to him Ooh. oh fuck that's my bad come on finish him Boom, there we go. Good stuff, Ron. Proven that he's a man amongst boys here. Alright, so we should get a lot of money from that. 1859, but the thing is, we bet 1200. So I think we only profit 659. I think we only profit 659. Yeah, we only profited 659 off that. But we also got the horse, and this horse sells for 600. Uh, it's also a riding skill of 90 in order to use it. So we're nowhere close to that. So I think we can just go ahead and sell it for the money. And that puts us over 2k. So we're basically already done with the one mission. We also want to start looking at potentially getting some better armor for us. We want... Oh, the cape looks dope. We want better armor, main armor piece. And then we'd like some shoulder pads at some point. Would be great. This is what we want eventually. Imperial Lamellar over leather. It's 6k though. So we got, a, we got a little while to go before that one. Um, at some point... Ooh, those are pretty good. Is that worth 400 to us right now? That might be worth 400 to us. That's a huge improvement in, uh, in arm armor. Tell you what, yeah, we'll go ahead and snag this. Let's sell that back. Cool, cool. Ooh, those are looking stylish. They go well with the outfit. Awesome. All right, cool. So now... We will go ahead and... Oh, we, we got to sell off these prisoners. So in order to do that, go to the tavern district. Oh, who's this? Alkira. Alkira Willowbark. I think we have ourselves our first companion. Hmm. All right, well, we'll talk to her real quick. See what she's about. This is not a companion that I found in the, uh, in the live stream. I, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. All right, my name's Ron. Tell me about yourself. You know, we women suffer greatly when you warriors have your sport. I lived in a village to the north of here, across the gulf. It is a cruel land, there is no strong king, and the lords think nothing of ravaging the neighbor's lands. My mother was skilled in the use of herbs to treat disease and wounds. I was a happy, peaceful, or I had a happy, peaceful childhood, until one day, a month before I was to be married, that was the day my life changed. A band from a nearby village came and attacked us. We had done them no harm. We had never even thought of them as enemies. But they wanted our cattle, they killed my mother, and the youth who I was to marry and burned our village, everything gone, those who lived, fled into the villages, oh shit. I expect that my kin will soon return to their homes, but I will not, I cannot. I cannot be in a place where I am at the mercy of any beast on the rampage. I will ply my trade among warriors, I will learn to harm as well as heal. I kinda like this girl. And if the time comes for me to marry, I will live in a land where there is a king, even a tyrant, rather than... Rather raise a family amid the war of all against all. all right, I'm sorry for your fate. At any rate, if you know of a warband who's looking for someone who knows how to treat wounds, yes, I do. I would be grateful. I could use someone like you in our company. Yes. 679 to hire her? Hey, for a good healer, that's worth it and more. All right. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this first episode up here. Hopefully, you boys enjoyed. Uh... Here's what I'm going to say for this. I'm going to record a couple more episodes tonight. 
I'm gonna say every time you guys reach, ooh, let's say three, can we hit 300 likes on this? I will upload another episode. How's that sound? Can you guys manage that? If you can, uh, I will try to upload at least two more videos today. So that'll be three videos in a single day. That's, that's, that's gotta be all the Bandalord you can take, right? <laughs> I'm sure probably some of you guys would not, <laughs> would say more. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, take it easy.